Alright everyone, well, first of all, might I say, happy 10th anniversary to the movie Iron Man. The movie that started it all for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and is still going on today, and most importantly, that saved Robert Downey Jr.'s acting career from the gutter, because let's face it, before this movie, he was pretty much a nobody. I mean, yes, he's done some good movies before, but with all the constant arrests and everything like that and so forth, this one proved that he can still act. Even after all the skepticism we had of him playing a superhero, thank God it delivered, and it started a whole marathon of Marvel films that even to today are still successful. And, well, how appropriate to be reviewing the one that we've all been anticipating, and myself included, because, well, after all, it is number one on my most anticipated movie list of 2018. Yep. Marvel, The Avengers, Infinity War. Well, or I should say part one, but that's not really what it's going to be called, obviously, because, well, next year's films. Alright, let's not jump the gun here. Let's talk about this film in general. Does it live up to the hype? Does it live up to what all these other Marvel films before it have been building up to? Wow. All I could say is, wow, it certainly does. I mean, first of all, yes, we've seen Thanos in all the post credit scenes, and yes, keep in mind, there's going to be some minor to moderate spoilers, well, with most of the films that came before it, so if you didn't see any of the Marvel Avenger movies that came before this one, you might consider this a spoiler for those. For this one, I'll try to keep spoilers kind of hush-hush, but yeah, all these Marvel Avenger movies that you've seen before it that have been building up to it, that guy Thanos... You've been just anxious to see him to appear in any of these Marvel Avenger movies, which you sort of have during some of the post credit scenes, or mid credit scenes of the first get-together movie in 2012, and of course, in the 2015 sequel to that one, Age of Ultron. Well, okay, you know, so you do see him the year before that in Guardians of the Galaxy, for a brief scene, and there's mention of him, of course, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which came out last year, so, yeah. And finally, also... Not only do you get the Avengers, you know, that are on Earth, you finally get them to meet up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You've just been dying to see that happen the whole time. I mean, we knew that it was, you know, coming out pretty soon at some point. And yes, Doctor Strange is also Marvel Avengers related, so is Ant-Man. Even though there's just brief mention of him, he doesn't appear in this movie, even though he's got a film coming up this summer. But all I have to say is, wow, this film is just... Fan freaking tastic. If you love action, this film's got a lot of it. You love fight scenes, this film's got a lot of it. I mean, yes, there's a lot of characters in this movie, so yeah, that's one thing you may, you know, that might be a little bit of a drawback to you, you know, because this film has a lot to focus on for the most part. It does shift back and forth between a lot of different characters. It's almost like they had three or four movies in one, like there's so many different stories, but they all make sense though, because it all is focus on one thing, trying to stop Thanos from getting the Infinity Stones. You know, you got, of course, some parts in different planets, you got, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy that meet up with Thor, and it pays its tributes because it acknowledges the facts that, you know, of the last couple of movies that took place. With Thor, it obviously is taking place after the last one, Thor Ragnarok. You know, he lost his eye, and he's still in space. Um, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, it pays its, its acknowledging tributes to the last two movies that they were in, you know, about Star-Lord and his father and all that stuff. Um, even have Spider-Man, of the Tom Holland version to be exact, obviously. And, yeah, it pays its tributes a little bit, and yes, there's a pretty funny Stan Lee cameo, I'm not going to give too much away on that one. And, as well as with Captain America Civil War, it pays its tributes to that as well, of how the Avengers were broken up. Major spoiler, or moderate spoiler right there. But... For the most part, yeah, it does a great job, but like I said, there's a lot going on in this film. But, you know what? I didn't really mind it at all. I thought it really uh, keeps the movie busy, because, yes, this is a very long movie. It's well over two hours, two and a half hours to be exact, and that's really what you want. And the backstory behind Thanos is definitely uh, interesting, too, as well as the facts, you know, of his relation with uh, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. I'm not going to give too much away on that one. But it's very uh, interesting, and it definitely keeps the movie busy for such a long period of time. And yet, yeah, as I said, it may seem like there's a lot going on in it. It may seem a bit cluttered, but it's not nearly as bad as Batman v Superman. You know, not to compare it to DC or anything. It just seems like Marvel has the better formula and the better approach to how to do things right and how to win over their audience. I mean, they certainly won me over with this film. Because, like I said, it's so much going on. 
And the characters are all developed. They got their films. They didn't jump the gun like the way DC did, trying to overclutter the film. It may seem like that, but it's got so much, and it just, you don't get tired of it. Even the scene on Earth, at, towards the very end, is really good with the Black Panther, and yeah, it's just got a lot in it. It keeps you busy and keeps you entertained, you know, and yeah, even has a new character introduced, that same guy from Game of Thrones and, of course, X-Men Days of Future Past, the same guy who plays Shras, you know, Thor and the Guardians meet up with him, or half the Guardians, I should say. So, yeah, it's a lot going on in this film, as I said, but, as I said, it's well worth it. It definitely fulfilled the hype, in my opinion, and not to spoil too much, you know, there might be some character losses, but I'll stop there and let you see it for yourself, because I wouldn't dare spoil it for you right there. Um, you know, a few surprise cameos, and yes, there's a few silly jokes here and there. Like, I thought the Squidward joke from Iron Man's character was kind of silly, but overall, I'd say... After all the build-up, I'd say it definitely lives up to the hype, even though, as I said, this is just part one, and it is leading up to a second part, as you guess. It's not going to be called Infinity War Part 1 and 2. The second part has yet to be announced, the title name, that is. And, well, and also be sure to stay after the credits, because, like I said, you know, like every other Marvel Avenger movie, it has a post-credits scene, but not during the middle of the credits, surprisingly, just after the credits. I don't know why they just didn't put it during the middle of the credits, that's... Probably my only complaint with it, because, you know, it's a very long film, as I said. So, you, you know, it felt like it really should have been in the middle of the credits, being that there's nothing there. But it does hint what's upcoming for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But, like I said, I wouldn't dare give it away. Just see it for yourself. See this film. It's very long, but wow, it's so entertaining. Definitely lives up to the hype. I didn't see it in 3D or IMAX 3D. You can prove me wrong whether it is worth it or not, but... I'm not really disappointed I didn't. It's great whether you see it in 3D or 2D or not. Great film. Marvel definitely did it again. I'm looking forward to what's upcoming for them this year and of course next year with part two. Whatever the title's going to be called, all I can say is, you've done great, Marvel. You've done great. So, the big build-up paid off. Rocking two Wii remotes of Wii Motion Plus is up. Trust me, it's well worth it. <laughs> Till next time, keep watching.